Listen, you're kind of new in this neighborhood, so I'm gonna wise you up. I'm Muggs McGinnis, the leader of this gang. Now, if you want to take any of the boys out, you gotta have them in by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And no smoking, drinking, or hopscotch, because we're all in training. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to the fellas in their physical order. This is Danny, my left-hand man. How do you do? This is Glimpy, my right-hand man. Hello, Matilda. Pee-wee, my yes man. Hi. And Skinny, my no man. Hi. And last but not least is Scruno. He's our blackout warden. Hi. Now you met them all and you can do one if you... Hey! Hey, you kids, get out of here! Hey! Plan trouble! See you later. Oh, wait, take that stinker here and take a speedery if you have along! Now, I wonder how that could have happened. I don't know, but they can't blame us for it. But we was here. That's circumstantial evidence. Well, let's dig. All right, let's get out of here. Zoot too. Here. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Wait, hey. Uh oh. What do we do now? Sing Mammy, that'll stop us. Take it easy, mother. Don't aggravate your rheumatism. Oh, good morning, officer. What's new? Next on that. What's your hurry? We are just getting our exercise, taking our girls for a walk. I was just taking my mother to the races. Why did you break that window? What's the front window? Quiet, mother. Then why were you running? We always get blamed, so we run. There ain't no law against running, unless you're a politician. You kids are always doing something. If it ain't one thing, it's another. You're just a bunch of hoodlums. <laughs> Is that a nice way to talk in front of a poor, discreptic lady? Don't let it get you, Clarice. Coppers ain't got no manners. I got a good mind to have your badge confiscated. Mm -hmm. Come on, white guy. Let that stuff off. Uh, Come I on. Got a few of hey, them. officer. Hey, officer. Would you unhook me? Ah. Come on. Come on, let's go. You can't arrest us without a corpus delicious. What are my lawyers about? This is going to be a big shakeup around here. Yeah, yeah my boss is going home to you guys. guys. You mean we got to walk? Where's the patrol wagon? Yeah, like that. All right, Baker. Which one of these boys broke your window? They didn't break it. I broke it myself. Every time I get in there, I break something. Ain't I the clumsiest thing? Huh? Well, ain't that too bad. <laughs> now you don't get your promotion. Why don't you guys think of something else to do besides make us miserable? Sabotage. What chance has a little guy got against a corporation? <laughs> hey, there goes our taxi. Okay, if you four guys will excuse us. Who we'll pumps you up? <laughs> Hurry up! Come on, Bruno! I couldn't run no faster. This truck was full of watermelons. You'll be picking up watermelons for the next five Come years on. if you don't hurry up. Hey, if you hurry up, I'll give you a million dollars. Hey, you kids, get off the truck! Save it for the finance company. Who's hiding your old bus? If you don't get off, I'll bring you. Ah, eh, shut up! The pedestrian has the right of way. He talks like he owns this thing. Yeah, hey, don't go so fast. I got a nervous stomach. <laughs> Get off the truck, will you? What a terrible taxi. No radio. <sighs> Listen, come on. Get off of here. Hey, shorty, will you back up about two blocks? You're past my office. Yeah, I'm good. What are you talking about? Get out of here. Come on. Here, here. Come on. Get it. Hey, I let the dogs alone. I've been running, man. I'm gonna run some motion right now. <laughs> hey, Bell. Hi, Danny. Remember me? I'm your brother. What are you doing down here? This letter came for you, so I brought it down. Thanks. It's from the government. My grandfather got a letter from the government once. What was it? An invitation to Sing Sing? Alcatraz. <laughs> Well, kid, looks like your brother's in the army. Oh, that's swell, Bill. <laughs> Private Phil Collins reporting. Come in! Hey, 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 What do you see? Seagulls. 
Hey. Oh, hi, guys. You got any clues? No, you guys got any? No, I think it's a false alarm, just like Bill said. Boy, if I could nab this convict, I'd graduate from my detective correspondence course with honors. It's better to graduate with good marks. Hey. Here's a guilty-looking personality. Let's go over and get a confession. But don't break no bones. Come on. Hey, you the guy that escaped from the island? Hey, right, go on. Beat it. Scram, you guys. Sasha, Hiya, hiya, hiya. How you, how you, how you, how you, how you hey, Go on. Get away from here, will you? Uh, get out of town. The streets are free. Sure, we're private detectives. We're from the Burns Agency. Did you hear my uncle? Third degree Burns. Well, you must have heard of Charlie Chan. This is a stable mate, Charlie Horse. Oh, uh, Charlie. Hi, Horse. Take his picture and send it to the funny paper. I got a better idea. I'll send it to Ripley. I bet he won't believe it. Yes, she will. <laughs> hey, give me that camera. What are you looking for, Match? I got a match right here. Don't go away. Don't I'm not going no place here. Here. Here's a match. You got a match, haven't Hey, he's got a match. Ah! Don't shoot. That ain't a rod. That's a gun. Is it loaded? Sure, it's loaded. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy. Oh, hey, give me that. Do you want to get hurt? Oh. Hey, the cops. Let's cram. Hey, where you going? I don't think he likes cops. Hey, listen. Make sure you're working here. See, do something. Jump on that truck. Move those back. Come on, come on. Get him up there. Come on. Right there. What are you kids doing in that truck? Hey, we're just upright citizens trying to make an honest dollar. After all, we got wives and babies to support. Cut out the wise cracks. Seen you kids before, haven't I? Maybe it was at the races. Or was it Pam Beach? It was juvenile court. Don't tell me you were in trouble, officer. Get down out of there. Marty, can't blame a guy for trying to fill up a social security fund. We don't want to mooch on a city like you. Let me see your driver's, driver's license. I know. You just want to prove that you can read. There you are. On the other side, it's a very nice picture of my Aunt Sue. Skinny old thing, isn't she? Is there anything else I can do for you, officer? No, Mr. Wise Guy. Well, uh, you sure you wouldn't want to search the truck, look in one of the barrels, and see if that lug from Blackwell's Island ain't in one of them? Yeah, maybe he's learned to swim in wine. That's what I call wasting the taxpayers' money. Goodbye now. I'm glad they're going. Heads up. Hey, hey, hey. Money in the making. Oh, that'll be a pleasant change. Being broke is getting monotonous. All right, Luke. Yeah, I'll make it snappy. Hey, how about a little help from the All-American Longshoremen's Association? Got some good men here. Go on, scram. Hey, Nobby. You looking for the guy that's driving that truck? Yeah, did you see him? Uh, he left when the cops came. Cops? Sure. By the way he took off, you'd think he was the guy that escaped from Blackwell's Island. He had a rod. Hey, have you ever been fingerprinted? Go on, beat it. I don't know, but it looks to me like you'll need a little help with that barrel. A little large for you, isn't it? Sure, I come from a long line of wine barons. He means barrels. Okay, okay. Help me get this on a truck. All right, Come on, easy now. Come on, take it easy with it. Come on, take it easy with it. We don't need that. Get it right out of the car. Get it on here. Don't get it on that. Put it on here. Get it up there. Don't injure yourself, boys. Don't injure yourself. All right, boys, don't turn your allegiance. Let it alone. I'll handle it. Hey, hey, grab it. Oh, you give up? Come on, give me a hand, will you? All right, boys, give me a hand. <laughs> you just didn't appreciate how useless we was. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, how about a little gratuity here? Yeah, you for How about a little compensation? Come on, six pieces, hey. please. All right, that's, that's a little better. What? You bitch! We've been laboring in a delusion. You ain't. Just... Hey, ain't you gonna wait for your change? Can you spare it? Spendthrift. Two bits. Hmm. Hey, that's two packs of cigarettes. Hey. Hey, Mark. What if we do find this Luke Manning's body? What do we do with it? Throw it back to the fish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Glimpy? He can't swim. I don't know. He was around a minute ago. Oh, gosh, what if he's drowned? Who's going to tell his mother? 
Oh, he's an Orpheum. Orpheum? That's the name of a theater. Orpheum. Hey, fellas, look. Look at that education. Oh, my God. Go straight down the claw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Me, officer? <laughs> I'm just getting a bit of a suntan, that's all. Where are your pals? Oh, I don't know where they are. Are all these your clothes? Yes, sir. Seven changes, one for every day in the week. Hey, you kids, come on out. Well, what's eating you? Come on down. The water's fine for drowning. I don't want any trouble from you, kids, so you better hop on up here. Yeah, we're coming. What do you want? What's the trouble? Well, you're going for a ride. Go for oh, a ride? Don't be on the sunny side, will you? Well, you're going part. to headquarters. Get on your clothes. So you're going to be leaving for the Army soon, eh, Bill? Yeah. I'm taking my physical next week. I'm well, sorry to see you leave, Bill. What are you going to do about that kid brother of yours? That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Mullins. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, with my gun in the army, Danny's going to be on his own. But I don't want him running around the streets. I know what that leads to. Juvenile court and reform school. I saw enough of that kind of stuff when I was at the Wilton School for Boys. Yeah, so you once told me. Say, Bill, why did you quit that job? I didn't like the way they handled kids. That's why I've always done everything I could for Danny. So as he wouldn't have to see the inside of that or any reform school. Yeah, and you've done a good job of it, son. Thanks. The only thing that'll help Danny's a real job. Now, I was wondering if you could... If I could put him to work, huh? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Mullins. Why, he's a big, strong kid. He could do this job easy. Well, bring him around this afternoon. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that's swell, boss. You won't be sorry. Hey, Bill. Bill, the cops are arresting Danny and the gang. Arresting Danny? Yeah. Where is he? Over there. Let's go. Get away from this bed house, will you? It's private. You know, I think you're framing us. Go on, Scram. You got fleas. Come on, get your clothes on. I'm going to get the D.A. I'm going to get the D.A.'s brother. What's wrong, brothers. officer? Who are you? I'm this kid's brother. Well, they stole the truck from McCary Street, and there's no mistake about it, because they caught him red-handed. Stole a truck? Look, Mr. Wise Guy, maybe you'll deny you weren't in the front seat of that truck. Yeah, the battery's dead. And maybe you'll say that you didn't tell me that you were working for the company. Oh, you got to tell a little white lie once in a while. Danny, is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were you? Well, this warrant isn't a joke, so come along, peace. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is going to be a long Dormitory 3, workhouse. Oh, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, mister boss. Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a moniker like that? Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Terrible ding. Uh, I'm Ethelbert. You? No, oh, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethelbert McGinnis. It's kind of a name, you know. It's been in the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet. It'd make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethelbert. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. I mean, you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. 
Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work. I'm not familiar with the word. Oh. Well, we'll fix that. I was uh, afraid you would. Come in. Can I do something for you? Why, yes. My name is Bill Collins. Danny Collins is my brother. Collins. Collins. Oh, yes, the wine truck case. They were just admitted. That's right. You think I could see Danny? I'll see. Won't you come this way, please? Say, this place looks much better. Then you've been here before. Yeah, I was a guard for a year and a half. How interesting. Sure. If you like to see kids kicked around and starved. Oh, but you really don't know, Wilton. Lady, I know plenty that isn't good about this place. Oh, things have changed, as you've already noticed. We're here to help the boys, not to hurt them. Sorry if I blew up, miss. But I learned to hate the Wilton Reformatory. I understand. All right, that's all. So Jed Mill is still a guard here. Yeah, things have changed all right. What are you trying to do, miss? Sell me a bill of goods? Daniel Collins. Yes, sir. Maybe you remember my brother. He used to work here. Is that so? You must be Bill Collins' brother. That's me. Hoodlums must run in your family. Who do you think you're calling names? All right. I apologize. Oh, hey! Oh, God! Take it easy, you. Just a moment, now. What's the trouble here? What's the trouble, Miller? Be careful of him, Mr. Barnes. He's liable to attack you the way he did me. I know him. His name is Bill Collins. He's that hoodlum's brother. Mr. Barnes, I can explain. Mr. Collins once worked here. He was only... Never mind explaining, lady. I can do that. I didn't come here to start a rumpus, but I don't like to see any kid get smacked around. Ah, uh, smacking around is too good for him. That's entirely unnecessary, Miller. And as long as I'm superintendent of this institution, no boy is to be struck. Well, you gotta make him respect authority, don't you? There are even limitations to authority. I hope I make myself clear. Yes, sir. Mr. Collins, Miss Mitchell, would you please come with me? Don't worry, kid. There's a guy that's gonna be all right. Yeah, maybe things won't be so bad after all. I won't forget this in a hurry, and neither will you. All right, my memory ain't so bad either. Mr. Collins, Jim Barnes is my name. How do you do? And Mitchell is mine. Mr. Collins, I'm afraid you never knew it, but your testimony and your written resignation was indirectly responsible for a new order here at Wilton. No, I didn't know that. Guess I was in too much of a hurry to get away. Well, how would you like to take a look around the place now? I'd like it very much. I'm sure Miss Mitchell here wouldn't object to being your guide, would you, Ann? I'd be delighted. Hey, thanks a lot. We'll begin... You didn't have one of those when I was here. I told you, things have changed. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, if I wasn't going in the Army, I wouldn't mind getting my old job back. I'm sure Mr. Barnes would like to have you. In fact, I wouldn't even mind getting sent to reform school. That is, if the uh, other half is anything like you. There's always the guardhouse in the Army. Say, that gives me an idea. I'm taking my physical tomorrow, and I need some more weight if I expect to make the grade. Now, how's it about you helping me to uh, put on a few pounds by having dinner with me tonight? Huh? Oh, please, for Uncle Sam. All right. But remember, it's only for Uncle Sam. The Army will never forget this. If the man is willing, say yes. If he's unwilling, say yes anyway. <laughs> Waiter, bring some more fortune cakes. I want to find out what happens to a bachelor who is willing. Don't mind him. Too much chop suey. It's gone to his head. That's not the only thing that's gone to my head. It's been so much fun fattening you up for your physical. I heard someplace that the easiest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Should I take up cooking? Mm -hmm. One for the book. Okay, let's get going. 
Hey, stupid. Hey, call me, boss? All I told you to lay off that bourbon. To draw, I, I'm, not, I'm not drinking any bourbon. Just, just a bromo seltzer, that's all. I, see, uh, see? Never mind. Now get this straight. Give me ten minutes, see? And keep the motor going. Okay. Be ready if I need you. And remember what I said about the bourbon. No, I wouldn't drink. I don't know when I've laughed so much. I never knew the Wilton Reformatory could give me anything to laugh about. I'm glad, Bill. Maybe your fortune's changing. It is. You know, I can even look into the future of Private Bill Collins. I never cared very much what was going to happen to him after national defense. But I do now. I like you, Private Collins. I like your brother Danny, too. Danny's a good kid. In fact, if there were ten of you Collins boys, I'm afraid I'd like every one of you. Now, you're the one who's fickle. I have a weakness for uniforms. Good night, Bill. Thanks for a lovely evening. Oh, good night, Anne. or you're a dead pigeon. I'll let you have it. And that's how it happened. I had already taken Miss Mitchell home. I was out of cigarettes, so I stopped to buy some. You were not out. This half-filled package of cigarettes was found in your car. Explain that. I don't know anything about it. It wasn't mine. Besides, I don't open my package that way. There, don't cut no ice. Green, the drug clerk, positively identifies you as one of the bandits. I didn't do it. My word's as good as his. Collins, it's pretty simple what you did. You went ahead of your pals to see if the coast was clear. You bought a package of cigarettes for a stall. Then you stood guard at the door while the others shot and killed the drug clerk. I did not. I didn't do it. It's not true. Come on, Collins. Now, who are your pals? Now, you're not going to let them go free and you take this rap alone. Don't be a fool. Give us a lead and I'll see you get off easy. I promise. Bill, are you all right? Yeah. Why don't you question him when he's not ill? Lady, this is murder. But can't you see that he's weak? Come on, Collins. Now, the fact remains you were driving the car in which one of the bandits made his getaway. What else could I do with a gun in my back? Do you think a man about to go in the army would commit a murder? Why, 
She was to take his physical today. Lady, if you're trying to use Uncle Sam as an alibi, save your breath. Facts are facts. I'm not trying to use Uncle Sam for an alibi. Oh, this is all crazy. I'm innocent, I tell you. If you can prove that, Collins, you haven't anything to worry about. How do you like this? Whoever thought I'd become a chambermaid to a bunch of chickens? <laughs> I always did want to be an interior decorator. What a beautiful piece of muslin. Oh. Plus, it's just been imported. It's got a regular English droop to it. Yes, that really looks good, but that chest is too full, Squirrel. Yes, yes, about two and a half inches for the chest. What are you doing to my suit? What's the matter that's... with you? Oh, those shoulders droop. Shoulders oh, oh, yeah. What's the matter just with... Just about five and a half inches right there. That's we'll make it real good. No. We'll make oh, it look at that seat. It's all wrong. Oh, that's the seat. Look, 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 look at that. Yeah, right what there, are you there, doing? There, that's one more mark on this suit, and I'll kick your back fence in. See that? You lack the appreciation for the finer things in life. Why, it's a man's physical appearance that means everything in the end. If you don't dig mighty quick, your physical appearance is going to change. Oh, what the... Go. All right, all right. <laughs> physical... Hey, by the way, wasn't your brother supposed to take his physical today? Yeah, I wonder how he came out. Hey, look what I found the chicken's nest, the name. You're quite a discoverer. You should be with Columbus. He's dead. That's what I said. What did you expect to find in that chicken nest? Croquettes? Hey, I wonder if there's a chicken in here. Let me see and I'll tell you. That'll take a little scientific research. A chicken? Why, there's quintuplets in there. Yeah, let me see. How do you do it? Hold it up to the sun and put it right on your eye. That, right up there, that's like it. that. That's it. What are you, a wise guy or something? <laughs> Mr. Wise Guy, remember? Here, yeah. go get yourself a union card. Oh, what's up, Tane? What's the matter with you? Did you ever hear of Michelangelo? He started off painting chicken coops. Who's he? Him? Why, he was a portrait painter. He used to paint men and women. Ah, that's nothing. I got an Uncle Louie. He did the exact same thing last year at the beach. He painted men on one door and women on the other. Let him have it. Oh, you Hey, Buzzy! Well, look who's here. Hiya, gang. Hi, Pee Wee. Where you been around? We ain't seen you. I've been working in the office. Sort of an office boy. Not bad, huh? Yeah. If that's the case, you ought to be able to find out something I want to know. What do you mean? Who's running this emporium? I don't get you. Oh, you know, there's always a couple of guys that deal the cards around. Oh, they got a couple like that here. What's their names? Rice Pudding Charlie and Chalky Jones. But they've been here a long time. That's fine. I'll have to meet those two boys. Yeah, you won't have to meet them. They'll look you up. Oh, they will, Will. That's sure. very belligerent. So that's the new gang that moved in, huh? Well, there's nothing like getting acquainted. Yeah, things are kind of dead around her since Barnes took over. I hear that Chalky Jones and Rice Pudding Charlie had things pretty much themselves under the old superintendent. Yeah? But they only got one connection now. Who? That guard, Miller. Miller, huh? Here's a guy who should get himself a new job, breaking in guillotine. Yeah, but Chalky and Charlie are in strong with him. They cutting up anything? Yeah, they work in a commissary. That sounds like a soft touch to me. Best job in here. I told you they'd look you up. Faces don't look so good to me. Let's do some surgery. Bring the plastic, boys. I'll be right with you, fellas, but I remember I got to get these eggs, and I don't mean scrambled either. Mmm, wow. Deliver me from temptation. Look at here. Which one of you guys is named Ethel Boy? Yeah, <laughs> me. So what? I heard you couldn't fight your way out of a beauty parlor. You ought to try fighting your way into one and get that kisser fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Who goes by the name of Collins here? I do. What's it to you? Got a little present for you. You're the new paper boy, huh? Read them in week, kid. <laughs> that was very considerate of you. You really owe me something now, don't you? Then you're gonna get it. Hey, good God, stop me! Hold on, boys. Let go of me, you rats. I'll mighty when I get oh, out of here. Oh, fellas, you got some in his eye. That's not very nice, and you got it all over his nose and mouth. 
I don't think that's the least bit nice. I don't think so. Now, if you put a little like that... Oh, don't <laughs> let it drip down there. God! God! You... Oh! God! Come on, huh? God! Come on, huh? You want to put some like that? I'll fix you. Honey boy, get I'm... out of here. Honey boy, I'm giving you the brush. Well, I'm not getting it out. Ah, heck, get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, is that murder? Oh, it's the of the scene. Oh. Oh. Hello, Ann. See Collins? Yes. Anything new? They were pounding and pounding at him. Poor boy, he was so ill. Mr. Barnes, isn't there something we can do? His record here, something should prove that he's innocent. I suppose it's because of Danny that I feel this way. He and his brother are so close. I understand, Ann. However, I... I'm quite sure the court will prove his innocence. In the meantime, there's Danny. We've got to break it to him somehow. Let me explain, please, Mr. Barnes. All right, Ann, you do it. I'll do it now. Oh, wait a minute. Sit down, Danny. I got things to do. You were planning on leaving, weren't you? Yes, I was. I gotta get out of here. The cop has got my brother Bill. I know, Danny. I was just going to tell you about it. He wouldn't kill nobody. He's a swell guy. Of course he is, Danny. And he'll be all right. I know it. Now with them coppers, he won't. I gotta do something to help him. But can't you see? There isn't anything you can do. You won't be helping Bill by breaking out of here. I'm his brother. I, I know him better than anybody does. They can't make him take the rap for something he didn't do. I won't let him. You hear me? I won't let him. We're cheering for the same team, Danny. Just between the two of us. <laughs> Life is beginning to injure my health. So I says to the guy, it's a lucky hey, day you're... Hey, Charlie, get a load of cutie pie saying his prayer. <laughs> 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 you can say his prayer. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to those morons. Your brother will make out all right. He's only got four more days. Well, a lot of things can happen in four days. You know, Chalky, gas ain't so bad. Yeah? It's better than the rope or the chair. I read in a book once how to get the days a week before they go. Can't you guys talk about anything else? That was an accident. That was an accident. No kidding, no kidding. If I wanted to hit you, well, you wasn't looking. I didn't mean that. I swear I didn't mean it. I... Hey, hey, go! 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out.
Now shut your traps and go to bed. Hand me that hat. Come on, get to bed. You shouldn't get in trouble over me. I can take care of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, blood. Pleasant dreams, wise guy. Enjoy yourself. If I was you, I'd call up and order two wheelchairs while I was still able. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You never know how to play for you. Hey, Finn, Finn, I got my fingers crossed. I quit. It's my ball, I quit. Nobody plays. I'm going home to my mother. I yeah, quit. Well, I wasn't afraid to go to the electric chair. I'd break your yeah, skull. Yeah, you'd go ahead and quit. Boy. Danny will take your place. Come on, Danny, take his place. Leave me alone, will you? I don't feel like playing. What's the matter? You know what's the matter. I got to help Bill. I got to get out of here. Ah, oh, come on, kid, forget it. We need you in the game. Let me go, will you? I got to get out of here. Guess he really means it. We better watch him. Looks like the wise guy took over, huh? Yeah. Don't worry about it. That ain't gonna do no good. I'll lay off. I got it all figured out. I'm gonna slide down that drain pipe and go right out through the tunnel. No brakes. We're on the honor system, remember? Honor system, my foot. They still got Bill. Look, if you want to make a break, let's all do it together. Don't do it one at a time. You'll have to get caught that way. Hey, maybe they're planning a break. Shh. Wait. Come in. Yeah. Barnes, I got a little something I want to tell you. Yes, Charlie? I saw McGinnis and a couple of guys figuring to make a break. You're sure they were planning to make a break? Sure, I'm sure. I saw it with my own eyes, didn't I? I'm sorry you told me this, Charlie. Remember, we have an honor system here now. Well, you didn't expect Muggs to tell you, did you? That concerns McGinnis and the institution, Charlie, not you. Aren't you going to yank him in on the carpet? No, I'm not. However, I'm going to have to punish you for informing. Punish me? I only told you what I've seen. It's the reason back of it, Charlie, that concerns me. Now, you dislike McGinnis, don't you? Suppose I do dislike him, so what? But, Charlie, that's not straight shooting, that's all. Now, as a consequence, I'm going to have to take up your recreation privileges for the next two weeks. My recreation? Well, how do you like that? Muggs pulls a raw deal and I have to take the rap. That's all, Charlie. You may go now. You may not know it, bud, but you just struck out. Take the Back field. Come on, oh, Back. show that ball and take that glove. Let's go, a little activity here. You mean to say he didn't appreciate your tip anymore? Just like me throwing a pitcher of ice water down his back. I lose my recreation for two weeks on top of that. What? Yeah, you don't like the idea of nobody snitching. And, uh, what happens to Mr. Wise Guy? Nothing. Strike! Strike? Did you ever try seeing an optometrist? I never had trouble with my feet. You uh, never had trouble with your feet. What is an optometrist? An optometrist? An optometrist? That's a, that's a... Throw the ball, you're holding up the gate. What's the matter with you? And get some water, somebody! Done it. How many was there? That's all I want to know. You all right? It was an accident. Well, who done the accident? Could have been the boys. They kind of take this summer. Huh? Yeah. What do you think my head is? A carnival target? Could be the missing link. Boys! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Let me at him. All right. Wait a minute. This is all mine, boys. All mine. Come on, Charlie! That a boy! 
What's the matter? Having trouble, Charlie? Nothing I can't take care of, sir. Come on, you'll step back and hit you. Come on, Charlie! 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 All right? Yeah, sure, sure. He must have sneaked up on me. Yeah, we'll get him the next time. Miller's attempt to spare Collins' life was made yesterday as counsel for the condemned man appealed to Governor Walker for a reprieve. Meanwhile, the date of Collins' execution was set for the 17th. Very interesting. You know, I hate to see that fellow Collins go. He's probably a nice fellow, the poor sap. Call me, boys? Where are those bourbons? Coming right up. Yeah. You know, the fellow that should get the chair is Drattler. That ain't nice, boss. Even kid. I suppose you was kidding the night you left me flat. I should have plugged you then. Yeah, that's right, boss. You should have plugged him. What do you mean, plugged me? Well, I mean, he should have plugged me. You should have plugged... Who started this? Ah, go away, this? go away. Go on, Dorothy, read some more. Um... Winners for the Canadian National Sweepstakes were announced late yesterday evening. Hey, I got one of them tickets. Go on, read the winners. Fat Chance, 10,000. Hopeful, 6,000. Pride of the Bowery, 5,000. Hey. I'm wrong. I don't care. How come you're Pride of the Bowery? You're from Jersey. You poor dumb plug. Well, that's all right, Nobby. I'll take care of you in your old age. Thanks, boys. Ticket. That's right. Here it is. Oh, that's one of them racehorse tickets. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, but you can't collect. They'll grab you the minute they spot you. That's right. I'm drowned. Then you, Rattler, you take it and make believe it's your ticket. Not me. I'm in the same boat. I don't like them reporters and cameramen. I don't look good in pictures. Well, maybe I guess you're elected. Oh, I didn't run for nothing. Oh, you, you want me to collect the five grand? That's right. For me, not for you. Get it? I get it. You get it. I don't get it. Uh, Do you think it's safe to trust Nobby with all that money? Well, what else can I do? I could go with him. That's not a bad idea. Go ahead. And don't let Nobby out of your sight, my little one. Don't worry. What makes you think the money would be safe with her? What makes you think it wouldn't? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, keep your yap shut. Just what the doctor ordered. Too bad I can't take you on a tour of this place. But I can't tell you how swell you are. You're pretty swell yourself. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go out in a blaze of glory. You know, like Sir Lancelot, wearing Lady Guinevere's scarf on my arm. You haven't got an extra scarf handy, have you? Bill, please. I, I'm studying cookbooks so I can fatten you up to become a major general with double chins and double stomachs. You make it all seem so real. It will be real. If the man is willing, remember? Time's up. That's a date, kid. Are you nervous and run down? Do you suffer from lack of vitamins? Here is a letter received from one of our listeners. Quote, Dear Mr. Arno, A month ago I was nervous. I chewed my fingernails. Jumped when I saw a mouse. Then I started taking Arno's tablets. And you should see me now. Fit as a fiddle and ready for conscription. Signed, Glimpy Stone. Hey, fellas, that's me. I'm the author. Oh, 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 take it away. Oh, 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 fit as a fiddle and ready for conscription. You can't even spell conscription. Yeah, someday I'm going to be a writer. What are you going to do, write other people's names on checks? And now back to the newsroom. Governor Walker today denied a reprieve to Bill Collins, convicted on first-degree murder charge. His execution has been set for... Hey, 
Let's go see some pictures. Mr. Fon's got some swell new pictures. He says we can see them if we want it. Yeah, come on, Dick. Hey, you gin rummy players, you want to see some new pictures? Sure. All right. Hey, 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 hey. What's, this? What's, go, what's this all about? Well, Mr. Fon's got some new pictures. He says we can see them if we want to. Well, ask them in a nice way and you can have them. Oh, yes, my good man. Is it being too permissible if we young ones in quest to peruse the cinema? Sure. Cinema? Why, certainly, cinema. Didn't you ever have cinema on your toast in the morning? Button your collar. <laughs> I never had it. <laughs> oh, did, did, did you ever have it? Oh. That guy should go back to grammatic school. He's really Hurry down. Hurry up, you're moving. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sit, over. Sit up there. I need a seat. <laughs> Come on, it's a swell picture. I hope. <laughs> They're not gonna give Bill a reprieve. They're gonna kill him. Eh, what are you talking about? That announcer on the radio was bugs. Listen, I knew a fella one time, he got a reprieve two minutes before they pulled the switch. $50,000 to the winners of the Canadian National Sweepstakes. And here is one of the winners now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the pride of the Bowery, who is now $5,000 richer than he was a moment ago. Well, if it ain't now, be the lucky stiff. There you are, sir, and congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. This is a big blow to me. I, I mean, this is a lucky... It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, what do you plan doing with all this money? Well, I'm going to give it to the... I, I, I mean, I'm... I, uh, uh, I'm good. I suppose you buy your mother hey, a washing machine. There's no, our chauffeur. Can't wash the no guy machine. from the truck. She has tough enough time with the laundry. Then I'm going to get my brother-in-law's saloon. We've been needing one of those things for years. Listen, the same old knobby. Yeah. Well, what about yourself? What's going to be your treat? Well, I'll take a scotch and soda. I, no, you. <laughs> you mean what am I? Well, I don't. I don't need nothing. See, I'm. I got a job. What sort of work do you do? What am I doing? Oh, He's the guy who stole a truck. I mean, I, uh, private secretary. Did you see him open that pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, why? He opened that pack the same way the pack was open. He found in Bill's car. Remember Ann telling us? You mean you think he might... It's an angle. I suppose that's the lady. Dorothy? No. Dorothy's more like a mother to me. What do you want? Hey, Charlie. Uh, I mean, did you say you knew that guy that won the dough? Well, That's it to you. Hey, Charlie, I didn't come here to argue. Just tell me one thing. Did you know him? Hey, I know him. So what? It means my brother's life. That's what. My brother's life? What is this, a gag? No, Charlie, this is no gag. It's for real. Ah, oh, my oh, God. Shh. Do me one favor. Just do me one favor. Come outside where we can talk. Tell us what you know about that guy that won the sweepstakes. Nobby? Yeah. He used to be my uncle's mob. Uncle? Yeah, Luke Manning. You read about him. Luke Manning? You mean the guy that busted out of Blackwell's Island? That's right. He got drowned on the way out, too. He got drowned, huh? I wonder. What do you mean? Listen, if Nobby stole that truck, why'd he bring it down the waterfront? Yeah, that's right. You mean that... I mean that maybe Luke Manning ain't dead. Remember when we went to move that barrel, how funny the guy acted? Yeah. Maybe that barrel wasn't full of wine. Maybe it was Luke Manning in there. I think you got something. And I think you're both daffy. Where can we get in touch with this knobby? I don't... Wait a minute, I can give you a lead. Dorothy Melton. Who's she? The dame in the newsreel that took the check from Nobby, remember? Well, she used to be Luke's girl, but I guess Nobby's giving her a rush now. Well, where does she live? She lives at the Carlton Apartments on 3rd Avenue. I should deliver notes to her from Luke. Danny, looks like we got a date with Dorothy tonight. We can't break out of here. The bonds has been too nice. No, but we can tell them everything. Now that we got proof that we didn't swipe that truck. We ain't got enough proof. We're going out and get it, and then we'll talk to Bonds. Hey, what do I come in for giving you all this info, huh? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to take you with us. You mean it? Gee, thanks a lot, Ethel Bite. Wait there a minute. I'll be right back. Come on, fellas. Shut up. 
We're not waiting till tonight. We're going right now. Good. You know the way. Take the fellas. I'll see you in a few minutes. Come on. Ethel bite, huh? Now, Charlie, I'm going to show you my ingratitude. You mean you got a surprise for me? I got a beautiful surprise. Hey! Tell Mr. Barnes about that. Raviolas for that dress. What's Luke gonna say? Oh, Luke, I needed it, Nobby. Luke won't mind. No, Luke won't mind. Maybe I've lived long enough already, anyhow. Your receipt, sir. That'll be 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars, and thank you very much. Is there something else maybe I could show you? Oh. No, I've seen everything I. Well, nearly everything. You know. Hello, honey. <laughs> what are you doing? Here? Nobby. I just want to see if it's imported. What you doing tonight, honey? Oh, boy, they're coming through the window. And we had a lovely evening, girls. Yeah, very Well, I'd lovely. like to see something in a bed, you know, with more hey, trades. Uh, I don't know. How about like... dinner for two? Well, what type of thing would you like to see? I mean, uh, oh. I want that. You decided to. How much you is want it? it? 250. Oh, I'll take it. Give me 250 dollars, Nobby. Yeah. Have you decided to go to the cinema with me? Huh? What do you say? <laughs> how would you like to see uh, when Rome burns, Nero fiddle? How about it? What do you say? Oh, Nobby, it's so sweet of you to buy this coat for me. Go on, I ain't gonna buy it. Take it off. Take it off. But you already did buy it. I bought it. Uh huh. How much did I pay for it? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and two, two hundred. What's the matter with me? Would you like to see some hats? No. Yes. She's got a hat. Well, she can wear my hat. Now, what type of hat would you like to see? Well, I want something to go with this coat. Well, uh, do you care for this? Yeah. Huh? How much is it? Oh yes. Only thirty dollars. Only thirty. Uh, yes. You don't want nothing like that, honey. That, that's no good. Well, uh, I can try it on. I know, but it don't look. How much is that one in the corner? Oh, that's ten dollars. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah that, oh, I that, don't know. Here, try this on. Uh, Try it on. It, it might be just the thing you need, you, you want. You, well. Looks good. Ten smackers is all right. That, you, ah, that's no, a dilly. I'll take that. Huh? Oh, that's awful, Nami. No. Once you have, here, tr hey, take this one. It has one. That's... Oh, that's the one I came in with. Well, that's a good one to go out with. Well, I'm going to try this one on. Well, you don't. Uh, how much is that one? Fifty. Well, for a half a smacker, it's okay. I'll... Oh no, fifty dollars. Fifty two. Uh, try this one on again. Maybe if you put it on oh, back. Oh, Nami, no, this one's adorable. Ah, oh, go away. You look just like a cop in that thing. Huh? Well, I'm going to take this one anyway. Could I show you something in hosiery, perhaps? Yeah, I'd like to see something. Got a brunette? Right oh. <laughs> what do you suppose happened to Nobby? He's had time to go to Philadelphia and back. Yeah, so is Dorothy. I've told you three times to keep Dorothy out of this. The next time I'll... Okay, okay. I didn't mean nothing. I was just thinking. Don't. If that Nobby has double-crossed me and run off with my five grand, I'll know what to do with him. Call Dorothy's apartment again. 
Well, how do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, refuse me. That's the way she goes. Oh, yeah. You made up your mind what you want? Yeah, I uh, uh, Give me some of that Aunt Francis. You don't can have this. No, but that's what I want. I'm sorry, you don't can have Aunt Francis. This. Yeah. this is the proprietor. Well, bring him in. I mean, I don't want. No, I don't want. Well, I'm here, and you don't can have me. You, you, no, no. Oh, I tell you what. What? How about some nice champagne for the lady? No, she don't want that. Uh, you, you can't spend it. We you got can't... nice champagne. No, you, bubbles. You, bring us your lemon phosphorus. Yeah, lemon who? Lemon phosphorus. Lemon phosphorus? Lemon phosphorus? What is this? Not lemon phosphorus. What? Phosphorus. Lemon phosphorus. No, we don't got on the me lemon fish. Uh, oh, every lemon fish. We got lemon pie. We got. I don't lemon. want no pie. I want just a drink. We're gonna drink a lemon fish. Lemon fish. Forest fish. No, a fish. Do you know what uh, you want? Yes, I know what I want. I came in here for it. Anyway, never mind. Just bring us two cups of coffee. Two coffee. Yeah, yeah. Bring mine uh, without cream and sugar. Yeah, without the cream and sugar yeah, for you. Yeah. And she wants hers without sugar, but cream and and the coffee. Yes. To put it in now, two me, cups. Yeah, two cups. Let me see if I got it right. You want black coffee with sugar, and no cream, and yeah. she wants cream and no coffee. No, and no, she, uh -huh. no, no. she don't want cream with no coffee. No. Just give her the sugar and put the cream in the coffee, and the, and give me the cup. Yeah. I mean, put the cup in the sauce in this. Yeah. Refuse me. You got a little mixed up. L let me explain. You want coffee with cream, no sugar. She wants cream, no coffee, no cup. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind. Just give me a, a nice cream soda. Ice cream soda? Yeah. Well, what kind? I'll take Manila. You, boy, if you do this, I give you the coffee and the lemon fish fast, everything for nothing. Good boy. I like you. Let's get out of here. I'm getting sleepy. So am I. Only my stomach's wide awake and crying for its bottle. Eh, uh, stop squawking. The uh, hostess is liable to be along any minute. Look, when she comes, let me talk to her. Because when it comes to women, I'm a connoisseur. That's just where you belong in this sewer. Now, you guys know just what to do when she comes? Hey, yeah. I think she's coming. Down that light. <laughs> Say, this is a swell car. I wonder who owns it. Look, honey, I think you better wait here. I don't think Luke is going to like this. Oh, Luke Manning, he should have drowned when he beat it out of Blackwell's Island. Yeah, but he didn't. When he finds out that I'm running away with you and his five grand, whoo. It's only four grand now. Hey, don't. Get away. Get away from there. Maybe if we give it back to him quick, he won't notice the grand's missing. Look, honey, don't be a fool all of your life. We've got four grand. We've got two airplane tickets. By the time Luke finds out, we'll be miles away. Maybe you're right, Dorothy. <laughs> no, don't cut it. I'll leave that alone. I'm ticklish. Cut it out. No, 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 never. No, I won't. I won't. I'll only be a minute. Take it easy, lady. What are you doing here? I'm a PLW. You're a what? I protect lonely women. Aren't you just a little young to be out without your mother? I ain't got a mother. Well, if you came up here to adopt one, you came to the wrong place. Beat it. Wait a minute. I'm a friend of Nobby's. Well, that's... You're what? Nobby, you know. Come on, kid, what's the gag? That's what we came up here to find out. What's this all about? Listen, sister, let's begin at the beginning. If you kids don't beat it, I'm going to call a cop. Now, look, Betty. Well, what's the matter? Did you forget the number? You don't want to tangle with the police any more than we do. Take that. What's your boyfriend? What are you talking about? Your boyfriend, Luke. We want to see him. That's right. You don't have to worry. We ain't going to hurt you or your place. We're gentlemen from the old school. He means reform school. Reform school? Yeah, that's right. We're friends of Luke Manning's nephew, Charlie. Rice pudding, Charlie. Charlie told us if we came up here as Uncle Luke or Nobby would help us out. Charlie's our pal. Ow! Hello. Hello. Hello, fellas. Say, Dorothy, I've been thinking it's... Say, what is this? Uh, give me that... Give me that... 
You looking for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it at these kids. Hey, you can't do that to me. That's my gun. I'm doing it, ain't I? Is he? Sure, I didn't know you had company. Well, these kids broke into here. They said they wanted to see you or Luke Manning. Well, well what is it? I, uh, well, well, what is it? Say, hey, seems like I seen these kids before someplace. Yeah, you was running away from the cops. I see you got your wind back. Yeah, I got away too. What happened? Huh? Say, what's the matter with you? What are you doing here? This is no time to break into a woman's room five o'clock in the morning. What do you mean by keeping her out till five o'clock in the morning? Well, it was nothing. I was, we was out shot. I, I could have... Uh, say, it's none of your business, you hear? What are you doing here, huh? I don't well, like the looks of this. Why don't you throw them out, Nobby? Yeah, I'm going to throw them out. They know too much. So do the quiz kids. Well, then I'll throw them out, too. Yeah? Yeah. You ain't on no place, buddy. Ah, uh, that thing ain't loaded. <laughs> they ain't loaded? No. Look, see, I took the bullets out. I, yeah, I forgot I loaded it. I yeah. Did. Dude, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, it is. Come and get it. I made them myself. Yeah, right now. Uh oh, uh -oh. I ain't hungry no more. Ooh, I want to no. cheat. I want to cheat, man. I want one of these. Here, lay you on. What do you want? Me? What do you want? Hey, yeah, I want, no, I don't want an egg. I want a lox. Come on, get up out of there. This is no picnic. Now sit down over there. Go ahead. All right, come on. Let's hear your story. The one about Goldilocks? Say, how do you do that? I would take a load off your feet. And start talking and no fooling. Right. Boom. Did you know it was morning? Sure. I turned the lights off. Why'd you let me sleep for? Get on that phone again. Sure. I called a couple of times already. Nobody answered. Did you, uh, did you not murder that guy in a drugstore? Get that phone up, break your arm. I'm gonna ask you once more. Did you commit that killing? I ain't talking. It ain't legal. That's funny. I could have swore somebody answered that phone. Rattler, maybe you're right. About what? About Dorothy. I think you and me had better pay her a little visit. And now you're talking. I hope for her sake, she won't be too much surprised. And that goes for Nobby, too. You kids will be sorry for this. Don't oh, worry your pretty little head about it. I ain't worrying. I... Oh, you mean... I ain't know what you are. You're a premeditated killer. Yeah, I never killed nobody. I'm a bank robber. Bank robber? Well, of course, that ain't so bad. You're bank gonna robber. hang by the neck until dead. I don't hang around no place. Why don't you confess and save all this confusion? There's no confusion confessing. I know my rights. I'm an American citizen. Did you ever vote? No. Who's running? If you didn't vote, you're not an American. You're a man without a country. I am, too. I live in Brooklyn. Well, that's the same thing. Hey, what do you think about the Dodgers dropping a series? Wasn't it tough that Owens Ooh. dropped a series? Hey, you're a trade lover, General. You've got a different hey. story than a one that... Who's different... talking about baseball? Hey, what time is it? It's a quarter to six. Don't tell me you can read the time. Oh, yeah, for a year now. I've... Hey, Glimpick, grab that phone. Call up Bonds. He'll be in his office by now. Tell him we got one of the guys that committed the drugstore murder. I didn't do it. It was... Shut up, you fool. Shut up, you fool. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. We have nothing new to report. The boys are still missing. No, we haven't sent out a general alarm. I don't believe it's quite that serious. Well, I expect to contact them within the next 24 hours. Yes, I'll call you just as soon as I do. <coughs> Between Bill and the kids, things are in a pretty bad mess. Uh, more reporters. I'll tell them you're not in. Oh, no, never mind. I'll talk to them. They'll call every five minutes if I don't. Hello? Barnes, warden of the Wilton Reform School. It's the boys. Well, where are you? What are you doing? You sure of that now? Carlton Apartments, eh? You stay right there and we'll be right over. And call the police and have them go to the Carlton Apartments. Tell them I'll meet them there, and everything will be all right. Now, don't you worry. Operator, police headquarters, please. My brother goes to the chair. I'm going to let you have it. Don't let them scare you, Nobby. I ain't scared. They ain't got nothing on me. Pretty soon now, you can kiss Dorothy goodbye. Why? Where am I going? You're not going nowhere. You're staying right here until the undertaker comes for you. No. 
No, I ain't. Gee, in 20 more minutes, he'll be going to the chair. 19. You feel better? Yeah. Now I can face it. I guess you can. 18. No. No. 25 more minutes. Cut it out, will you? It ain't funny anymore. Take it easy, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Why don't you do something? They're only kids. He's got a gun. It's loaded. I know I loaded it myself. I thought you were the kind of man I could go for. What's Luke got that I ain't got? Brains. That ain't nice. I wonder what Luke would do if he was in my spot. Oh, shut up. I can fix that. Look. Get the kid's gun. Now, Nobby, what were you saying about your spot? Nothing, boss. Nothing. Look, I got the door for you. Look, here it is. Your rags, huh? Why, Dorothy, you look beautiful. <laughs> My cute little double crosser. <laughs> no, no, don't hit her, boss. Why don't you pick on somebody your size, Jumbo? All right, Nobby, you asked for it. Come on, get him up. So you didn't drown after all, eh? Well, that's too bad. Mr. Barnes, my brother. Where's the phone? Here it is. Hello. Hello, operator. This is Jim Barnes of the Wilton School. Hurry, please. It's a matter of life and death. You'll be mighty proud of your brother before we get through with him. Uh, by the way, we just got in eight carloads of potatoes. Uh-oh. Well, what's he got to do with potatoes? He'll be inspecting them with a paring knife. That is, when he's not washing pots, pans, or dishes. Yeah, but I won't mind. No, darling. It'll be good practice. Excuse me, Sergeant, but can you tell me where they peel the potatoes? Report in the commissary. Okay. Hey, Sergeant. What kind of food you got in the guardhouse? Why, are you expecting to get in there? I'm afraid so, but I don't think I'll mind the food. It's good. I'll fix it up for you. Goodbye, Miss Mitchell. Goodbye. Oh, now, don't do anything, please. I mean... Don't worry, honey. Oh, be careful. Bye-bye. Bye. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Come on, gang. 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 Ethel for short. Yeah, don't lie. Oh, 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 oh. Who goes by the name of Collins here? I do. What's it to you? Got a little present for you. You're the new paper boy, huh? Read him in week, kid. It was very considerate of you. You really owe me something now, don't you? Then you're gonna get it. Hey, good God, talk me that. Hold them, boys. Let go of me, you rats. I'll mighty when I get out oh, of here. Oh, fellas, you got some in his eye. That's not very nice, and you got it all over his nose and mouth. I don't think that's the least bit nice. I don't think so. Now, if you put a little like that... Oh, don't let it drip down there. God! God! Oh, God! Come on, huh? Come on, huh? You want to put some like that? I'll fix you. Honey boy, get I'm, out of here. Honey boy, I'm giving you the brush. I'm not getting out. Ah, oh, heck, get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, is that murder? Oh, it's a never seen. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Hello, Ann. See Collins? Yes. Anything new? They were pounding and pounding at him. Poor boy, he was so ill. Mr. Barnes, isn't there something we can do? His record here, something should prove that he's innocent. I suppose it's because of Danny that I feel this way. He and his brother are so close. I understand, Anne. However, I am quite sure the court will prove his innocence. In the meantime, there's Danny. We've got to break it to him somehow. Let me explain, please, Mr. Barnes. All right, Ann, you do it. I'll do it now. Oh, wait a minute. Sit down, Danny. I got things to do. You were planning on leaving, weren't you? Yes, I was. I gotta get out of here. The cop has got my brother, Bill. I know, Danny. I was just going to tell you about it. He wouldn't kill nobody. He's a swell guy. Of course he is, Danny. And he'll be all right. I know it. Now with them coppers, he won't. <laughs> the same old Nobby. Yeah. Well, what about yourself? What's going to be your treat? Well, I'll take a scotch and soda. I, no, you... <laughs> you mean, what am I... Well, I don't, I don't need nothing. See, I'm, I got a job. What sort of work do you do? What am I doing? Oh, He's the guy who stole the truck. I mean, I, uh, Mount, I private did you see him open that pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, why? He opened that pack the same way the pack was open. He found in Bill's car. Remember Ann telling us? You mean you think he might... It's an angle. I suppose that's the lady. Dorothy? No. Dorothy's more like a mother to me. What do you want? Hey, Charles. Did you say you knew that guy that won the dough? Well, that's it to you. Hey, Charlie, I didn't come here to argue. Just tell me one thing. Did you know him? Hey, I know him. So what? It means my brother's life. That's what. My brother's life? What is this, a gag? No, Charlie, this is no gag. It's for real. Ah, my daddy. Do me one favor. Just do me one favor. Come outside where we can talk. know about that guy that won the sweepstakes. Nobby? Yeah. He used to be my uncle's mob. Uncle? Yeah, Luke Manning. You read about him. Luke Manning? You mean the guy that busted out of Blackwell's Island? That's right. He got drowned on the way out, too. He got drowned, huh? I wonder. What do you mean? Listen, if Nobby stole that truck, why'd he bring it down the waterfront? Yeah, that's right. You mean that... I mean that maybe Luke Manning ain't dead. Remember when we went to move that barrel, how funny the guy acted? Yeah. Maybe that barrel wasn't full of wine. Maybe it was Luke Manning in there. I think you got something. And I think you're both daffy. Where can we get in touch with this knobby? I don't... Wait a minute, I can give you a lead. Dorothy Melton. Who's she? The dame in the newsreel that took the check from Nobby, remember? Well, she used to be Luke's girl, but I guess Nobby's giving her a rush now. Well, where does she live? She lives at the Carlton Apartments on 3rd Avenue. I should deliver notes to her from Luke. Danny, looks like we got a date with Dorothy tonight. We can't break out of here. The boss has been too nice. No, but we can tell him everything. Now that we got proof that we didn't swipe that truck. We ain't got enough proof. We're going out and get it, and then we'll talk to Barnes. Hey, what do I come in for giving you all this info, huh? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to take you with us. You mean it? Gee, thanks a lot, Ethel Bite. Wait there a minute. I'll be right back. Come on, fellas. Shut up. We're not waiting until tonight. We're going right now. Good. You know the way. Take the fellas. I'll see you in a few minutes. Come on. Ethel Boyd, huh? Now, Charlie, I'm going to show you my ingratitude. You mean you got a surprise for me? I got a beautiful surprise. Hey! Hey! There's always the guardhouse in the army. Say, that gives me an idea. I'm taking my physical tomorrow, and I need some more weight if I expect to make the grade. Now, how's it about you helping me to uh, put on a few pounds by having dinner with me tonight? Huh? Oh, please, for Uncle Sam. All right. But remember, it's only for Uncle Sam. The Army will never forget this. If the man is willing, say yes. If he's unwilling, say yes anyway. <laughs> Waiter, 
Bring some more fortune cakes. I want to find out what happens to a bachelor who is willing. Don't mind him. Too much chop suey. It's gone to his head. It's not the only thing that's gone to my head. It's been so much fun fattening you up for your physical. I heard someplace that the easiest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Should I take up cooking? Uh -huh. One for the book. Okay, let's get going. Hey, stupid. Hey, call me, push. All I told you to lay off that bourbon. To do, I, I'm, not, I'm not drinking any bourbon. Just a bromo seltzer, that's all. I, so you, uh, see? Never mind. Now get this straight. Give me ten minutes, see? And keep the motor going. Okay. Be ready if I need you. And remember what I said about the bourbon. No, I wouldn't drink. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know when I've laughed so much. I never knew the Wilton Reformatory could give me anything to laugh about. I'm glad, Bill. Maybe your fortune's changing. It is. You know, I can even look into the future of Private Bill Collins. I never cared very much what was going to happen to him after national defense. But I do now. I like you, Private Collins. I like your brother Danny, too. Danny's a good kid. In fact, if there were ten of you Collins boys, I'm afraid I'd like every one of you. Now, you're the one who's fickle. I have a weakness for uniforms. Good night, Bill. Thanks for a lovely evening. Oh, good night, Anne. Take it easy, lady. What are you doing here? I'm a PLW. You're a what? I protect lonely women. Aren't you just a little young to be out without your mother? I ain't got a mother. Well, if you came up here to adopt one, you came to the wrong place. Beat it. Wait a minute. I'm a friend of Nobby's. Well, that's... You're what? Nobby, you know. Come on, kid, what's the gag? That's what we came up here to find out. What's this all about? Listen, sister, let's begin at the beginning. If you kids don't beat it, I'm going to call a cop. Now, look, babe. Well, what's the matter? Did you forget the number? You don't want to tangle with the police any more than we do. Take that. What's your boyfriend? What are you talking about? Your boyfriend, Luke. We want to see him. That's right. You don't have to worry. We ain't going to hurt you or your place. We're gentlemen from the old school. He means reform school. Reform school? Yeah, that's right. We're friends of Luke Manning's nephew, Charlie. Rice pudding, Charlie. Charlie told us if we came up here as Uncle Luke or Nobby would help us out. Charlie's our pal. Ow! Hello. Hello. Hello, fellas. Say, Dorothy, I've been thinking it's... Say, what is this? Uh, give me your... Give me that... You looking for this? Yeah, that, put it at these... Hey, you can't do that to me. That's my gun. I'm doing it, ain't I? Is he? See, I didn't know you had company. The police kid broke into here. They said they wanted to see you or Luke Manning. Well, well what is it? I, uh, well, well, what is... Say, it seems like I've seen these kids before someplace. Yeah, you was running away from the cops. I see you got your wind back. Yeah, I got away, too. What happened? I, say, what's the matter with you? What are you doing here? This is no time to break into a woman's room five o'clock in the morning. What do you mean by keeping her out till five o'clock in the morning? Well, it was nothing. I was, we was out shot. I, I uh, say, it's none of your business, you hear? What are you doing here, huh? 
I don't yeah. like the looks of this. Why don't you throw them out, Nobby? Yeah, I'm going to throw them out. They know too much. So do the quiz kids. Well, then I'll throw them out, too. Yeah? Yeah. You ain't going no place, buddy. Ah, uh, that thing ain't loaded. <laughs> they ain't loaded? No. Look, see, I took the bullets out. Huh? Yeah, I forgot I loaded it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, he's coming to get it. I made him myself. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh, I ain't hungry no more. Ooh, I want a no. I want a cheese. Man. I yeah, want right. one of these. Just lay your hand. Gee, in 20 more minutes, he'll be going to the chair. 19. You feel better? Yeah. Now I can face it. I guess you can. 18. No. No. 25 more minutes. Cut it out, will you? It ain't funny anymore. Take it easy, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Why don't you do something? They're only kids. He's got a gun. It's loaded. I know, I loaded it myself. I thought you were the kind of man I could go for. What's Luke got that I ain't got? Brains. That ain't nice. I wonder what Luke would do if he was in my spot. Oh, shut up. I can fix that. Luke! Get the kid's gun. Now, Nobby, what were you saying about your spot? Nothing, boss. Nothing. Look, I got the door for you. Look, here it is. New rags, huh? Why, Dorothy, you look beautiful. <laughs> My cute little double crosser. No, no, don't hit a boss. Why don't you pick on somebody your size, Jumbo? All right, Nobby, you asked for it. Come on, get him up. So you didn't drown after all, eh? Well, that's too bad. Mr. Barnes, my brother. Where's the phone? Here it is. Hello. Hello, operator. This is Jim Barnes of the Wilton School. Hurry, please. It's a matter of life and death. You'll be mighty proud of your brother before we get through with him. Uh, by the way, we just got in eight carloads of potatoes. Uh-oh. Well, what's he got to do with potatoes? He'll be inspecting them with a paring knife. That is, when he's not washing pots, pans, or dishes. Yeah, but I won't mind. No, darling. It'll be good practice. Excuse me, Sergeant, but can you tell me where they peel the potatoes? Report in the commissary. Okay. Hey, Sergeant, what kind of food you got in the guardhouse? Why, are you expecting to get in there? I'm afraid so, but I don't think I'll mind the food. It's good. I'll fix it up for you. Goodbye, Miss Mitchell. Goodbye. Oh, now, don't do anything, please. I mean... Don't worry, honey. Oh, be careful. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye gang. Come on, gang. Red-handed. Stole a truck! Look, Mr. Wise Guy, maybe you'll deny you weren't in the front seat of that truck. Yeah, that battery's dead. And maybe you'll say that you didn't tell me that you were working for the company. Oh, you gotta tell a little white lie once in a while. Danny, is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were ya? Well, this warrant isn't a joke, so come along, peace. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is gonna be a long Dormitory 3, workhouse. Oh, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, Mr. Boss. Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a monocle like that? 
Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Oh. What a terrible thing. Uh, I'm Ethelbert. You? No, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethelbert McGinnis. It's kind of a name, you know. It's been in the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet. It would make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethelbert. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. Don't mean you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work. I'm not familiar with the word. Oh. Well, we'll fix that. I was uh, afraid you would. Come in. Can I do something for you? Why, oh, yes. My name is Bill Collins. Danny Collins is my brother. Collins. Collins. Let's go. Get away from this bed house, will you? It's private. You know, I think you're framing us. Go on, Scram. You've got fleas. Come on, get your clothes on. I'm going to get the DA. I'm going to get the DA's brother. What's wrong, brothers. officer? Who are you? I'm this kid's brother. Well, they stole the truck from McCary Street, and there's no mistake about it, because they caught him red-handed. Stole a truck? Look, Mr. Wise Guy, maybe you'll deny you weren't in the front seat of that truck. Yeah, the battery's dead. And maybe you'll say that you didn't tell me that you were working for the company. Oh, you gotta tell a little white lie once in a while. Danny, is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were you? Well, this warrant isn't a joke, so come along, peace. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is gonna be a long Dormitory 3, workhouse. Oh, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, mister boss. Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a moniker like that? Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Terrible thing. Uh, I'm Ethelbert. You? No, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethelbert McGinnis. It's kind of a name, you know. It's been in the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethelbert. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. Don't mean you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work.
Listen, you're kind of new in this neighborhood, so I'm gonna wise you up. I'm Muggs McGinnis, the leader of this gang. Now, if you want to take any of the boys out, you gotta have them in by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And no smoking, drinking, or hopscotch, because we're all in training. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to the fellas in their physical order. This is Danny, my left-hand man. How do you do? This is Glimpy, my right-hand man. Hello, Matilda. Pee-wee, my yes man. Hi. And Skinny, my no man. Hi. And last but not least is Scruno. He's our blackout warden. Hi. Now you met them all and you can do one if you... Hey! Hey, you kids, get out of here! Hey, plan trouble! Oh. See you later. Oh, wait, take that, take our hand and take that. Uh, Peter Reed, yeah, Hello. Hey, no, I wonder how that could have happened. I don't know, but they can't blame us for it. But we was here. That's circumstantial evidence. Well, let's dig. All right, let's get out of here. Zoot two. Here. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Uh-oh. What do we do now? Sing Mammy. That'll stop us. Take it easy, mother. Don't aggravate your rheumatism. Careful, oh, good dear. morning, officer. What's new? Next on that. What's your hurry? We're just getting our exercise, taking our girls for a walk. I was just taking my mother to the races. Why did you break that window? What the fuck window? Quiet, mother. Then why were you running? We always get blamed, so we run. There ain't no law against running, unless you're a politician. You kids are always doing something. If it ain't one thing, it's another. You're just a bunch of hoodlums. <laughs> Is that a nice way to talk in front of a poor, discreptic lady? Don't let it get you, Clarice. Coppers ain't got no manners. I got a good mind to have your badge confiscated. Mm -hmm. Come on, white guy. Let's have stuff off. Uh, I on. Got to hey, hey, officer! Dummy. Hey, officer! Would you unhook me? Ah. Come on, let's go. You can't arrest us without a corpus. Where are those bourbons? Coming right up. You know, the fellow that should get the chair is Drattler. That ain't nice, boss. Even Kit. I suppose you're as kidding the night you left me flat. I should have plugged you then. Yeah, that's right, boss. You should have plugged him. What do you mean, plugged me? Well, I mean, he should have plugged me. You should have plugged... Who started ah, go this? Go away, go away. Go on, Dorothy, read some more. Um, winners for the Canadian National Sweepstakes were announced late yesterday evening. Hey, I got one of them tickets. Go on, read the winners. Fat Chance, 10,000. Hopeful, 6,000. Pride of the Bowery, 5,000. Hey. I'm wrong. I don't care. How come you're Pride of the Bowery? You're from Jersey. You poor dumb clock. Well, that's all right, Nobby. I'll take care of you in your old age. Thanks, boys. Take it. That's right. Here it is. Oh, that's one of them racehorse tickets. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, but you can't collect. They'll grab you the minute they spot you. That's right. I'm drowned. Then you, Rattler, you take it and make believe it's your ticket. Not me. I'm in the same boat. I don't like them reporters and cameramen. I don't look good in pictures. Well, maybe I guess you're elected. Oh, I didn't run for nothing. Oh, you, you want me to collect the five grand? That's right. For me, not for you. Get it? I get it. You get it. I don't get it. Uh, do you think it's safe to trust Nobby with all that money? What else can I do? I can go with him. That's not a bad idea. Go ahead. And don't let Nobby out of your sight, my little one. Don't worry. What makes you think the money would be safe with her? What makes you think it wouldn't? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, keep your yap shut. what the doctor ordered. Too bad I can't take you on a tour of this place. But I can't tell you how swell you are. You're pretty swell yourself. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go out in a blaze of glory. You know, like Sir Lancelot, wearing Lady Guinevere's scarf on my arm. You haven't got an extra scarf handy, have you? Bill, please. I, 
I'm studying cookbooks so I can fatten you up to become a major general. With double chins and double stomachs. You make it all seem so real. It will be real. If the man is willing, remember? Time's up. And that's how it happened. I had already taken Miss Mitchell home. I was out of cigarettes, so I stopped to buy some. You were not out. This half-filled package of cigarettes was found in your car. Explain that. I don't know anything about it. It wasn't mine. Besides, I don't open my package that way. There, don't cut no ice. Green, the drug clerk, positively identifies you as one of the bandits. I didn't do it. In my words, as good as his. Collins, it's pretty simple what you did. You went ahead of your pals to see if the coast was clear. You bought a package of cigarettes for a stall. Then you stood guard at the door while the other shot and killed the drug clerk. I did not. I didn't do it. It's not true. Come on, Collins. Now, who are your pals? Now, you're not going to let them go free and you take this rap alone. Don't be a fool. Give us a lead and I'll see you get off easy. I promise. Bill, are you all right? Yeah. Why don't you question him when he's not ill? Lady, this is murder. But can't you see that he's weak? Come on, Collins. Now, the fact remains you were driving the car in which one of the bandits made his getaway. What else could I do with a gun in my back? Do you think a man about to go in the army would commit a murder? Why, he was to take his physical today. Lady, if you're trying to use Uncle Sam as an alibi, save your breath. Facts are facts. I'm not trying to use Uncle Sam for an alibi. Oh, this is all crazy. I'm innocent, I tell you. If you can prove that, Collins, you haven't anything to worry about. How do you like this? Whoever thought I'd become a chambermaid to a bunch of chickens? <laughs> I always did want to be interior decorator. What a beautiful piece of muslin. Oh. Well, it's just been imported. It's got a regular English droop to it. Yes, that really looks good, but that chest is too full, Squirrel. Yes, yes, about two and a half inches for the chest. What are you doing yeah, to my that's... suit? What's the yeah. matter with you? Oh, those shoulders droop. Shoulders oh, droop, yeah. yeah. Just with... about five and a half inches right there. That's we'll make it real good. good. No. We'll make it oh, look at that seat. It's all wrong. Oh, that's the seat. Look, 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 look it back. Yeah, right what there. What are you there, doing? There, one more mark on this suit and I'll kick your back fence in. See that? You lack the appreciation for the finer things in life. Why, it's a man's physical appearance that means everything in the end. If you don't dig mighty quick, your physical appearance is going to change. Oh, what's well, the... All right, all right, all right. Oh. <laughs> physical... Hey, by the way, wasn't your brother supposed to take his physical today? Yeah, I wonder how he came out. Hey, look what I found the chicken's nest, a name. You're quite a discoverer. You should be with Columbus. He's dead. That's what I said. What did you expect to find in that chicken nest? Croquettes? Hey, I wonder if there's a chicken in here. Let me see and I'll tell you. That'll take a little scientific research. A chicken? Why, there's quintuplets in there. Yeah, let me see. How do you do it? Hold it up to the sun. Let them have it. Oh, you Hey, good. Buzzy! Well, look who's here. Hiya, gang. Hi, Pee-wee. Well, you've been around. We ain't seen you. I've been working in the office. Sort of an office boy. Not bad, huh? Yeah. If that's the case, you ought to be able to find out something I want to know. What do you mean? Who's running this emporium? I don't get you. Oh, you know, there's always a couple of guys that deal the cards around. Oh, they got a couple like that here. What's their names? Rice Pudding Charlie and Chalky Jones. Hmm. But they've been here a long time. That's fine. I'll have to meet those two boys. Yeah, you won't have to meet them. They'll look you up. Oh, they will, Well, That's sure. very belligerent. That's the new gang that moved in, huh? Well, there's nothing like getting acquainted. Yeah, things are kind of dead around us since Barnes took over. I hear that Chalky Jones and Rice Pudding Charlie had things pretty much themselves under the old superintendent. Yeah? But they only got one connection now. Who? That guard, Miller. Miller, huh? Here's a guy who should get himself a new job, breaking in guillotines. Yeah, but Chalky and Charlie are in strong with him. They cutting up anything? Yeah, they work in a commissary. That sounds like a soft touch to me. Best job in here. I told you they'd look you up. Huh. Faces don't look so good to me. Let's do some surgery. Bring the plastic, boys. I'll be right with you, fellas, but I remember I got to get these eggs, and I don't mean scrambled either. Mmm. Wow, 
deliver me from temptation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one of you guys is named Ethelbite? Yeah, <laughs> me. So what? I heard you couldn't fight your way out of a beauty parlor. You ought to try fighting your way into one and get that kisser fixed. <laughs> Funny. Who goes by the name of Collins here? I do. What's it to you? Got a little present for you. You're the new paper boy, huh? Read him in week, kid. That was very considerate of you. You really owe me something now, don't you? Then you're gonna get it. Hey, good God, don't me that. Hold on, boys. Let go of me, you rats. I'll mighty when I get oh, out of here. Oh, fellas, you got some in his eye. That's not very nice, and you got it all over his nose and mouth. I don't think that's the least bit nice. I don't think so. or you're a dead pigeon. I'll let you have it. And that's how it happened. I had already taken Miss Mitchell home. I was out of cigarettes, so I stopped to buy some. You were not out. This half-filled package of cigarettes was found in your car. Explain that. I don't know anything about it. It wasn't mine. Besides, I don't open my package that way. There, don't cut no ice. Green, the drug clerk, positively identifies you as one of the bandits. I didn't do it. In my words, as good as his. Collins, it's pretty simple what you did. You went ahead of your pals to see if the coast was clear. You bought a package of cigarettes for a stall. Then you stood guard at the door while the other shot and killed the drug clerk. I did not. I didn't do it. It's not true. Come on, Collins. Now, who are your pals? Now, you're not going to let them go free and you take this rap alone. Don't be a fool. Give us a lead and I'll see you get off easy. I promise. Bill, are you all right? Yeah. Why don't you question him when he's not ill? Lady, this is murder. But can't you see that he's weak? Come on, Collins. Now, the fact remains you were driving the car in which one of the bandits made his getaway. What? Is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were you? Well, this warrant isn't a joke. So come along, Coos. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is going to be a long
Dormitory three, workhouse. Oh, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, Mr. Boss. Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a moniker like that? Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Oh. What a terrible thing. Uh, I'm Ethel Pike. You? No, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethel Burt McGinnis. It's kind of a name, you know. It's been in the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet. It would make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethel Burt. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. Don't mean you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work. I'm not familiar with the word. Oh. Well, we'll fix that. I was uh, afraid you would. Come in. Can I do something for you? Why, yes. My name is Bill Collins. Danny Collins is my brother. Collins. Collins. Oh, yes, the wine truck case. They were just admitted. That's right. You think I could see Danny? I'll see. Won't you come this way, please? Here you go. Just a moment now. What's the trouble here? What's the trouble, Miller? Be careful of him, Mr. Barnes. He's liable to attack you the way he did me. I know him. His name is Bill Collins. He's that hoodlum's brother. Mr. Barnes, I can explain. Mr. Collins once worked here. He was only... Never mind explaining, lady. I can do that. I didn't come here to start a rumpus, but I don't like to see any kid get smacked around. Ah, uh, smacking around is too good for him. That's entirely unnecessary, Miller. And as long as I'm superintendent of this institution, no boy is to be struck. Well, you gotta make him respect authority, don't you? There are even limitations to authority. I hope I make myself clear. Yes, sir. Mr. Collins, Miss Mitchell, would you please come with me? Don't worry, kid. There's a guy that's gonna be all right. Yeah, maybe things won't be so bad after all. I won't forget this in a hurry, and neither will you. All right, my memory ain't so bad either. Mr. Collins, Jim Barnes is my name. How do you do? And Mitchell is mine. Mr. Collins, I'm afraid you never knew it. But your testimony and your written resignation was indirectly responsible for a new order here at Wilton. No, I didn't know that. I guess I was in too much of a hurry to get away. Well, how would you like to take a look around the place now? I'd like it very much. I'm sure Miss Mitchell here wouldn't object to being your guide, would you, Ann? I'd be delighted. Gee, thanks a lot. We'll begin... You didn't have one of those when I was here. I told you, things have changed. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, if I wasn't going in the Army, I wouldn't mind getting my old job back. I'm sure Mr. Barnes would like to have you. In fact, I wouldn't even mind getting sent to reform school. That is, if the uh, other half is anything like you. There's always the guardhouse in the Army. Say, that gives me an idea. I'm taking my physical tomorrow, and I need some more weight if I expect to make the grade. Now, how's it about you helping me to uh, put on a few pounds by having dinner with me tonight? Huh? Oh, please, for Uncle Sam. All right. But remember, it's only for Uncle Sam. The Army will never forget this. <laughs> if the man is willing, say yes. If he's unwilling, say yes anyway. <laughs> Waiter, bring some more fortune cakes. I want to find out what happens to a bachelor who is willing. Don't mind him. Too much chop suey. It's gone to his head. It's not the only thing that's gone to my head. It's been so much fun, fattening you up for your physical. I heard someplace that the easiest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Should I take up cooking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one for the book. 
Yeah, okay, let's get going. Hey, stupid. Hey, call me, boss? All I told you to lay off that. Thanks. This is a big blow to me. And I mean, this is a lucky, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, what do you plan doing with all this money? Well, I'm going to give it to the. I, I, I mean, I'm. I, uh, uh, I'm going to. I suppose you buy your mother hey. a washing machine. There's no, our chauffeur, the no guy machine. from the truck. She has tough enough time with the laundry. Then I'm going to get my brother-in-law's saloon. We've been needing one of those things for years. Listen, the same old lobby. Yeah. Well, what about yourself? What's going to be your treat? Well, I'll take a scotch and soda. I, no, you, <laughs> you mean, what am I? Well, I don't, I don't need nothing. See, I'm, I got a job. What sort of work do you do? What am I doing? Oh, He's the guy who stole a truck. I mean, I, uh, Mom, private did you see him open that pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, why? He opened that pack the same way the pack was open. He found in Bill's car. Remember Ann telling us? You mean you think he might... It's an angle. I suppose that's the lady. Dorothy? No. Dorothy's more like a mother to me. What do you want? Hey, Charlie. Did you say you knew that guy that won the dough? That's it to you. Hey, Charlie, I didn't come here to argue. Just tell me one thing. Did you know him? Hey, I know him. So what? It means my brother's life, that's what. My brother's life? What is this, a gag? No, Charlie, this is no gag. It's for real. Ah, my dad. Do me one favor. Just do me one favor. Come outside where we can talk. know about that guy that won the sweepstakes. Nobby? Yeah. He used to be my uncle's mob. Uncle? Yeah, Luke Manning. You read about him. Luke Manning? You mean the guy that busted out of Blackwell's Island? That's right. He got drowned on the way out, too. He got drowned, huh? I wonder. What do you mean? Listen, if Nobby stole that truck, why'd he bring it down the waterfront? Yeah, that's right. You mean that... I mean that maybe Luke Manning ain't dead. Remember when we went to move that barrel, how funny the guy acted? Yeah. Maybe that barrel wasn't full of wine. Maybe it was Luke Manning in there. I think you got something. And I think you're both daffy. Where can we get in touch with this knobby? I don't... Wait a minute, I can give you a lead. Dorothy Melton. Who's she? The dame in the newsreel that took the check from Nobby, remember? Well, she used to be Luke's girl, but I guess Nobby's giving her a rush now. Well, where does she live? She lives at the Carlton Apartments on 3rd Avenue. I should deliver notes to her from Luke. Danny, looks like we got a date with Dorothy tonight. We can't break out of here. The boss has been too nice. No, but we can tell him everything. Now that we got proof that we didn't swipe that truck. We ain't got enough proof. We're going out and get it, and then we'll talk to Barnes. Hey, what do I come in for giving you all this info, huh? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to take you with us. You mean it? Gee, thanks a lot, Ethel Bite. Wait there a minute. I'll be right back. Come on, fellas. Shut up. <laughs> 